So I've had fun over the last couple of videos showing you all fun and interesting ways to beat Civ in a you know, just some very good combinations. Lautaro of the Mupushi has to be the best, best Civ at domination victories in the entire game, yet often doesn't get included on many of the lists of the best people. Let me show you why he is the absolute best. And as a little bit of the background to this, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to get myself a religion and I'll, I'll show you from there. And yes, we're playing on Emperor, we're playing on online speed. Stop checking up, it's fine, it's fine. The second thing we need are the Malon Raiders, so I'm just going to click on Gunpowder and leave it alone from there. I think uh, that's a very good strategy here. I do love the speed at which historical mode games start. It's so good, just oh, nice early border growth, nice population growth at the beginning of the game, a nice way of getting all your districts up. It's, it, it, it is the best way to play, it really is. Oh, and look, fantastic. I'm just getting all the city-states already. Oh, and Kyivrin. Oh. And another one! I love those chain reactions. I've already found two great wonders. Look at that. The Delicate Arch and the Chocolate Mound over here. That's really cool. Natural Wonder. What does it do? Four Town Natural Wonder provides food, production and science. Yeah, that's alright. So here's the confusing thing. They've actually gone and changed all of the Pantheons in the new update. I mean, the update looks really cool, but now I'm looking at this and going, I have no idea! I have no idea! Oh dear, production and faith over strategic resources? I think that'll get me at least two. Yeah, if you're not sure, just go for something that gives you faith. Let's go for this one. God of Craftsmen, so when I improve this mine, suddenly this tile has given me, yeah, full production, one faith, one food, one science, two iron. It's a pretty good tile. Let's go get these horses next. Ooh, it's France. Hello France, how are you? Where have you? Where are you? Where did you come from? I don't care about a thousand year flood, I've met France, this is far more important. Ah, uh, she's somewhere, oh no, she's coming from the north. No, that's me. Where the hell has she come from? Oh uh, god, who knows. She found me, I think, rather than the other way around. <laughs> Never mind. It does mean, though, I get to do my usual thing of just buying all of their gold. They still haven't fixed that in the update. Diplomatic favour, you can just sell at ridiculous prices. Haha, <laughs> step one is complete. Right, the religion, again, doesn't really matter what I do, so I'm just going to go moo. But, I mean, you probably can guess what we're doing. I'm just going to do Feed the World because this is a really good one. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Crusade. <laughs> I always like when the computer does this. Relationship unfriendly. Why? They like you. Uh, cool. I do love the new adjacency rules they put in with industrial districts. Having an aqueduct give plus two really does make you do more aqueducts and baths and things like that. It's really cool, actually. So there's Paris over there. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to conveniently start purchasing a couple of missionaries just to go and uh, spread the word nice and early. It's always good to get a religion in as quickly as you can. And England. Hello, England. Are you making a religion? Someone was making a religion. Oh, I d look, I'm bored. I'm bored of this. Actually, no, this is a good example. No people towards great prophets. I don't want any more great profits. Ha ha ha, no more great profits. Look at that. So, oh, there's only one religion in the world. And, uh, oh, so there's an un uh, unmet player who now can't get great profits. That's, uh, that's really good. I built this purely because I couldn't be asked to buy apostles. <laughs> it's lazy, but there we go. Mosques are one of the best buildings. Extra spread and faith. And um, when you really can't be bothered, get something like pilgrimage to get more religion. Yeah. Don't mind me, just uh, sending a casual trade route through to France. Nothing to be suspicious about there. So this is something that's quite cool that I never realised in the game, and I guess they probably put it in to make sure that people did religion a little bit more. But let's convert this French city. <laughs> Already the religion has begun to spread to France quite ably, actually. Look at this, just uh, move my guys round. You don't mind my missionaries just treading around, do you? Even Mexico City wants to get involved. Stables are a very important part of this as well. Don't overlook stables. This is a screen that you need to keep a lot of attention on with Mupushi. Look at that, England in a golden age. That is quite exciting because for me, it means that, well, basically, I can just roll anybody over in combat, especially if I've also crusaded them. Oh, and look. There's England. I uh, don't mind if I just uh, 
purchase a couple more missionaries and go and explore them. Gunpowder. Oh, ah, 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 ah. What a fantastic tech for me because now it means I can basically just start building riders. So uh, workshop is a little bit, that's going to take a little bit of uh, attention to get to. So why don't we just start getting ride. Oh, in fact, actually, before we do that, I need to just uh, change this round a little bit. Let's unlock that. I don't need any more settlers. Holy site adjacency is really good. Builders are really good. Let's get, um, where is it? Where is it? Cavalry. Here we go. Ancient and classical era. Cavalry. Now that's, um, it's not quite what we need, unfortunately. We need to just switch our civics so that we can get the one that gives us the cavalry boost. There we go. Divine right. Because at the moment, four, four turns from Malon Raider. Gah, it's far too much. Persia. Where are you, Persia? Oh, just by England. Oh, so they're all over in this direction. That's interesting. Cyrus has captured Sheffield. You know what? Uh, I want to join in with that emergency, but I can't. Never mind. Here we go. Let's uh, just uh, join in with this one. I think that's a great idea. Oh, it failed. Why? France. Gah. Ah, chivalry. There we go. Now I'm going to start making these damn riders way quicker. Uh, two rubbish. Great people. Never mind. Let's get them. I don't want anyone else to get them. My first rider. Let's uh, just put you, put you near the border for no reason whatsoever. Manchester is now following Mu, but um, I think unfortunately Persia seems to have made its own religion. That's uh, never a very good thing. So let's just spread our religion to all of England cities and then we'll have to come and worry about Persia in a bit. Well, that's a little bit unexpected. France declared war on me. Uh, all right, fine. I'll, uh, well, we'll just have to deal with this rationally. Oh, also, because they're now at war with me and my religion's already up there, I just got a load of points. So, um, well, here come the Malon Raiders. So the old universal trick, if the computer ever attacks, just build walls. They can never get through the damn things. These guys are just making so many friends with Persia. You know what? I'm just going to go through the throat. Go through, their, go through their religion 100%. How many cities have they got? Converted to cities 12. That's because they're on mine. Two cities. All right, I've only got a couple of missionaries, but if I build a few more, we should be able to should be able to beat that easily. I told you, get one wall up, and suddenly the computer is absolutely useless. Even if, even if my defense is terrible, which which it is, because I've got no ranged units. Let's just buy a crossbow. There we go. Now you see, this will be way more powerful. Fantastic. Don't like those horsemen. Let's kill the horsemen first. You see, they're just gonna keep attacking my. Uh, oh, oh no, the city state's attacking me. Oh, what? I'm now culture bombing people, which is something, but unfortunately totally useless. But I do have the reformed church now, mwahahaha. Right. With that, I've now got a lot more faith, which is really useful for slightly later, and I'll show you why in a bit. But until then, I'm just, just throwing religious units at Persia just to annoy them, really. I actually managed to just with one missionary get like two religious citizens into their capital, which is a very good result, actually. God, the blues are so confusing. It's just blue on blue action here. You can see just from that combat alone just how powerful these raider units are. Especially within fire. Four tiles, I think, of your of your own territory, they will just they will just clean up. Oh, just go away. This is so boring. <laughs> Three points. Thank you very much. Because I'm at war with France, every time a city converts to my religion, I get points. Why? Well, I, I, it seems to think it's some sort of like huge event. I mean, I didn't actually do anything. That was pure passive growth, but never mind. I'll take it. And you need to stop bombarding me now. Bang. I feel like I'm going to need a siege tower. Attacking melee and anti-cavalry units avoid. Oh, they changed it. You used to be able to drive tanks up those things. Ah, uh, never mind. I mean, just look at that. That is a Malon Raider attacking Bolognia without any siege equipment. And I have 48 over 47. Uh, 68 over 47. That's a 21 increase. The Crusade Belief. Plus 5 strength bonus from hexes near my territory. Oh, such a good combo. I've reached that stage in the war now where because of all of the experience boosts I get. I mean, this one is a huge thing. 25 more experience if a governor is in charge of the city. And that, that, that was the case for pretty much all of my troops here. So now all I'm doing is just moving them around 
upgrading them when I can and uh, and just generally having a laugh. Right, let's just put him there. Look, Bolognia now is totally surrounded. So let's just uh, start to pummel it. I've got no siege equipment here whatsoever, but my horses are so tough, I can just continue to attack it and with no problem. No problem at all. Oh, this is always hilarious when this happens. So they have an apostle now. But unfortunately for them, their apostle, well, I, I say unfortunately, they, they're, they're very tough. Very, very tough. But it's because they're stood on holy ground. So I'm just going to quickly uh, use my charge, get rid of their religion entirely, and look, now it's even territory. And I've just got a, a missionary just hiding around the edges at the same time. Oh no, they've denounced me. Oh, that's a shame. It's, uh, it's not going to stop me spreading my religion around. Just keep attacking. You can see I'm just getting so many promotions just by endlessly attacking. The city will begin to weaken and weaken and weaken and these units are going to be like level two level three by the time they're done i mean really i have a siege tower here that could be getting involved but it's just it's just no point the cavalry units it doesn't really help uh, well i've got seven seven people what well, seven population now on this uh holy site and they've got one apostle there's just there's no way there's no way they're going to be able to get this one back so i'm just going to do the, the ultimate dismissing thing and just ignore the city and go get the next one while they're trying to you know reconvert their old territory it's the ultimate just like walking away without looking i don't care i don't give a shit about this gentle eruption what eight fertilized tiles oh wow that was a big eruption did I did I just did I just lose a unit because of that? No, it's over here. Yevrim was the one that got cooked. <laughs> okay, I thought that was me for a second there. Never mind. Where is your other city? Oh, Sparda. Who have you got in here? Oh, that's a that's a nasty looking religion there. Let's just uh let's just get rid of that one, shall we? And get the missionary in nice and quick. Uh, well, it, it it kind of it turns out the siege equipment does does kind of help a bit I mean it's not supposed to but it definitely does because these attacks are now doing way more way way more like more than an amount of sort of injury to the village to, to the city should should give effectively anyway that's mine now so um France uh, I believe you're next uh, just by standing in your territory suddenly I have plus ten plus five plus five plus two yeah Look at that, I'm just almost, almost one hit, almost one hit a night, just, just from being, ah, oh, look, look at this, isn't this beautiful? So the hilarious thing is, because I got my religion so focused and so early, nobody else really went for one, well, they did kind of go for them, but far too late, and because I delayed the next religion through the World Congress, I actually have a feeling that before I actually get to show you the whole point of this video, I'm going to end up winning a religious victory, yeah, there we go, so... We're just going to ignore that. We're going to go just one more turn. You know, I did win by 1600, but I mean, we can ignore that. We can ignore that. There we go. This religion has zero, zero following it now. I'm just going to double check. Yeah, there we go. Dead religion. That's fine. Apostle, you can kind of just go walk around now. There's nothing really for you to do. These Malon Raiders are so strong. It is ridiculous. Just move forward. I'm just gonna give you, just giving you all the upgrades I can, really. That's uh, just a tap. <laughs> Bang! Almost one hit. <laughs> Love it. God, the two blues here are so bloody complicated. Right, I'm just gonna, just gonna do the thing. Move the siege tower and ruin, ruin his next target. It will very swiftly become a ruin. But look, if I just attack here, just see that's 64 versus 48. All I do is move into their territory and then attack. I get an extra 10 strength and that's 97 damage in one hit. Oof. Ah, oh, Calais. Hello. Oh, I could I could almost one hit that because it's got no walls. They're gonna they're gonna regret not building walls, I tell you. And look, I'm even better than the pikemen they're beginning to throw at me. And this pikemen man, they are supposed to be specifically designed to take down cavalry, and I am just walking through them. Cyrus has captured Stoke upon Trent. Oh no! Um I mean, yeah, go on, man, I'll vote for it, but I don't actually care. I'm busy just waiting for this uh, turn timer to kick around. Nine turns? Ugh. Ah, the old city wraparound. Six 
units just all, all round it in one direction and uh, just attack pointlessly. Well, I say pointlessly, but it looks like you're not going to do much damage until the point where the city's half dead. That's that's the, the thing to remember there, really. Even more points. I mean, I've got the only religion in the game now. I'm not entirely sure why it's still giving me score for it, but I'll take it. The stupid thing is, when I do take a city, the difference in colour is so negligible. I mean, it's very, very tricky to work out when I've actually won this. Look at all these little ranged attacks that happen. They only do like 8 or 9 damage to me, and every time I get full experience there from them, so... It's, it's, it's well worth them just not bothering to attack me, actually. I mean, look at all these attacks. It's just like, bang, 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 all that experience, extra experience. That's always what you've got to remember to do. Never rush an attack like this. If you have a unit that's going to get an upgrade, give it that upgrade. It's better to wait a couple of turns, especially when you're up like this. Like, I'm clearly, clearly ahead in terms of, like, military strength. So there's no need to rush this. It's just, yeah, look at this. Bam. Everybody's dying very quickly. I'm making them lose loyalty with every hit. You may not think it does anything because obviously they're going to get their loyalty back, but what happens is that every time I do it, they have a turn where, you know, they don't generate anything in terms of, um, uh, you know, if, if your city is unloyal, it doesn't grow, it doesn't get production, it doesn't get gold, it doesn't get faith. All of these things just stack up on it. It's quite good, really. A new turn, another assault of Paris, just again, no real, like, worry here. Just attack, 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 attack. Hooray. I'm so excited. Well, those two cities fell very, very quickly. I'm just, yeah, you can see what I'm doing here. I've got such an overwhelming army, I don't even need siege equipment. I've just kind of got this whole thing covered, really. And look, already I've got that one surrounded. The trick to, to taking any city with units, especially if you haven't necessarily got the finest of siege equipment, is just to, well, siege them as soon as possible, really. Well, just finished the terracotta army because, you know, I didn't have enough things to click this turn. Every single unit has an upgrade. Oh, why did I do this? Here we go again. God, this takes so long. But you see, I, even without siege equipment, these things are stronger than I am, but because of all my bonuses, I have 15 on them, which means I don't take any damage when I attack, which is really, really handy. And also I can, I can one-hit equivalent strength uh, units as well, which is quite cool. Oh no, there's a tornado with my siege engine. How the hell did that get there? Oh, right, don't care about that. Let's have a look. Persia. Persia's the... Uh, for God's sake. All I needed for this damn playthrough was just for somebody that I had a border with just to have a golden age. I mean... Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, my, my attack of France was, was highly successful, but they weren't in a golden age. This All I'm doing now is showing you how overpowered Crusade is if you manage to get it off nice and early, but no. No. All right, well, you know what? Fuck it, let's go after Persia. At this point, I've just lost the, the interest and I, I don't really care at all, so I'm just gonna go for helicopters. Just, I love clicking, just click on helicopters. It's all fine. I mean, I'm building wonders everywhere, but I don't know why. I'm just waiting for all my units to get to the Persian border. My God, rainforest is painful. Oh, you know what? Just like, fuck it, I'm doing it. I'm just going to go with this one unit just so I can show you. Corsus Bella, Golden Age War. Ha ha! Yes, right now. Effectively, this should mean, because these guys are in a Golden Age, if I walk into territory, he has my religion, he's in a Golden Age, and my Crusade belief means that, yeah, look at that. I have a 20 bonus just already. So this is going to be for every single one of my units will have this 20 bonus soon as soon as they walk into his land. Apparently I am at war with this city-state. That's uh, that's unfortunate, so I'm just going to leave this musketman behind just to cause them grief. Oh, look at that, they're just charging into me, but no damage. Yeah, I mean, 
just to put it in context, so this, this raider unit is 55 base strength, the musketman is 55 base strength, I'm getting 20 bonus, even with all of his support bonuses, difficulty bonuses, ideal terrain bonuses, all of that nonsense, I'm still winning that battle. I can 3 hit this city here, which I think I will, just because, yeah, why not, I'm going to keep it. I mean, I could, I could liberate it just for the hell of it, but nope, I think I'd rather keep it, so... I mean, yeah, just all my units are now coming through. It's going to take a couple turns for them to arrive, but generally speaking, they're pretty, pretty effective. I mean, it should be pointed out here that I am playing in a totally inefficient way. Like, I am just throwing cavalry unit after cavalry unit at people without... I mean, there's no, there's no strategy here. There's no no ability is but but I mean look even even now I've lost the crusade bonus I'm still getting that plus 10 plus 10 on all units this should be an even battle and I'm doing about three times as much damage to him as he's doing to me I mean even if I just start moving my units around now look the support bonus I'm getting because of all my upgrades because I get loads of experience means that yeah look I just 60 health with a loss of 12 12 that's ridiculous like genuinely is ridiculous in terms of how much damage I'm doing right now even Granada Granada is just trying its best but can't beat my leveled up cavalry oh Mapushi is by far my favorite Sith if you get a game right with these guys I mean I, there's nothing I'm just gonna be walking in here I'm gonna be walking in and mopping up I've already got cavalry if I could really be asked what I would have done with my 4,000 faith is bought the bought there what, what is it called Let's have a look. Government Plaza. I would build the Government Plaza. I'd get the Grand mm, Chapel. I'd buy Faith and, and just build more units over here. Honestly, this guy, he's just, just the best. You should try him sometime. Oh, and also you should build these. I always forget to build those. 